One of the cool things about in Active Inspire is that you can easily embed a digital video within a flip chart to keep it in the context of your overall lesson. So right now I'm logged into Discovery Education and I'm, um, I searched for Harold and the Purple Crayon, A Darling Story, and I'm going to teach you how to download this video so that it can be embedded into the flip chart. So I have other videos that talk about the embedding into the flip chart part. This is just the downloading. Anytime you get to a video in Discovery Education, you have a couple options down at the bottom below the video. There's stream type, oops, I'm gonna need to scroll down so that you can see this, and download type. And we're concerned with the download type in this, in this video tutorial. Uh, you can download it as flash video, but if you're gonna embed it into um, an Active Inspire flip chart, I'm gonna suggest that you choose QuickTime to do that. Or if you're on a PC, you may choose one of these Windows Media formats, maybe the higher quality one if you want it to be more crisp. So, um, so you wanna make sure that you select that. And then over on the right hand side, you have a couple options. You can download them as individual segments. So if you want the um, smaller files, shorter videos. But in this case, I simply want to download the entire thing. So I, I'm hovering over this icon. And when I do that, you, you're reminded it's the download icon. And I click on it. And then the important thing here is that I need to save this file. And so I got this message and I just click on save file. And the key here is where did it go? Um, and that really varies from person to person, how, however you set your browsers up. In my browser, I have it set up to go directly into my downloads folder on my Mac, and that's where I'm gonna find it. But some people, um, files that they download off the internet end up on their desktop. So those are the two most likely places that you're gonna find the file that you just downloaded. Look for a .mov at the end of the file name. That's the extension for a QuickTime movie. Good luck.